Hey Coletta, this is your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one who isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to like, uh, like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. I do uh, hope everyone is doing well and feeling well on tonight. Um, I will be doing a, um, a love reading for, uh, a, well, a soulmate love reading for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, okay? Um, so guys, without any further ado, we are going to get into, um, tonight's messages, Okay. I just want to finish cleansing and clearing out the energy, guys, and we are going to get started. Okay, guys, let's first get an overall energy to see um, what this um, soulmate, divine feminine, divine masculine relationship, um, what the what is the energy that they're in right now, guys, and then we're going to go from there with the messages okay so yeah so there is a divine feminine divine masculine that is coupled up together they're soulmates okay um we have the overall energy here of unexpected income so i definitely feel like there is um uh, a sum of finances money or resources that is coming into a um soulmate couple who's divine masculine divine feminine here okay and we know that we're speaking about a couple here because we have the courtship card here, okay? So this is definitely a couple that is together with one another, okay? It looks like um, thus far that, you know, things are looking kind of good for them. Let me turn this around so you all can see it, okay? So let's see what other messages come out here, guys. Spirit, please give you clear and accurate messages as it relates to this divine feminine, divine masculine, soulmate couple. First of all, guys, let's just break it down a little bit more before I do that and see who is this divine masculine, divine feminine, uh, soulmate couple that we are... Uh oh that we're talking about here okay so we have a virgo here this virgo could be male or female in this um divine feminine divine masculine soulmate couple who is their counterpart spirit who is this couple's counterpart Our counterpart don't want to come out. <laughs> we look like we got Aries here, okay? So we have a Virgo and an Aries together, okay? This is an Earth sign and a Fire sign that is together, uh, currently uh, coupled up, okay? There is some unexpected income that is coming in for this couple. So, all is, just as I said, all seems well thus far. Let's see what else is going on, guys. Spirit, please give me clear and accurate messages for this Virgo, Aries, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Showmate Couple, please. Clear and accurate messages for this Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Showmate Couple. the first card we have here is nine of swords okay i feel like maybe this couple has been in some type of 
mental conflict, maybe about finances, money, resources, maybe money has been tight with them, okay, they've just kind of been in, up in their head about how they're going to, you know, take care of the family, take care of the children, get bills paid, and different things like that, maybe th um, um, things are taking longer than expected, um, but something they're about to have some type of breakthrough okay seem like they may have could have had some type of anxiety or stress uh, maybe even a little depression over this for a little while some sleepless nights even um if you know you know their ends wasn't kind of meeting um and they were struggling to get all their bills and things paid on time and everything or whatever let's see what else is going on with this couple spirit clear messages for this virgo aries divine masculine divine feminine uh soulmate couple what else is going on with this couple spirit somebody may be giving them some type of gifts of generosity with this unexpected income because i feel like this is income that they don't see coming some type of help something that's going to really help them out assist them in some type of way Okay, because it seems like maybe, like I said, they've been into in, in some type of mental conflict about maybe, seems like about money, okay? Okay, we have the, uh, <clears throat> the nine of wands here, okay? So I definitely feel like that, that whatever had them in mental conflict they were feeling very defensive about maybe you know even got very defensive with each other um at one point in time like you know we behind on this this needs to be paid what are we going the kids need this need that what are we going to do okay um you know they they were feeling so defensive to the point where you know, they were even feeling like, look, you know, we got to make a sacrifice. We may have to give up this or stop that or let this go, uh, let that go so we can, um, you know, be able to afford this, that or the other. But I feel like something is coming in unexpected for this couple that's going to help them out greatly. OK, seem like there has been a lot of tension um, in the relationship. OK, but I feel like um, it has been. Thus far, it seems like it has been in the area of finances, money, and resources, making ends meet, getting bills paid on time, and different things like that, okay? So we have here um, the devil, okay? So uh, yeah, I definitely feel like this couple uh, came to the conclusion as a couple to make some sacrifices uh, to, to get what they need, Um yeah, to get what they need um, to make their ends meet, okay? Somebody in the relationship could be addicted to, you know, have addictive patterns of behavior, maybe have some type of addiction of some kind, maybe gambling too much, drinking too much, maybe like smoking weed or, or uh, you know, some other substance that was taking up a lot of the finances, money and resources, money began to get tight, you know, um, Maybe, you know, and somebody, you know, was in mental conflict about this, you know, that maybe they could have been, you know, in disagreement about this. Somebody became, somebody was in mental conflict and somebody was very defensive about the other person being in mental conflict about what was going on. And I feel like it was surrounding around addictions, okay? Um, yeah, this could have something to do as well with... Uh, this could have something to do. This is definitely uh, is what's going on in their partnership here with the two of cups here sitting next to the devil. Uh, there could have been some infidelity issues there for a while. Yeah, we got the two of coins also at the bottom of the deck. They have definitely been juggling finances, money and resources. Um, there could have been some infidelity issues as well. OK, somebody um, could have been cheating even within this relationship okay and kind of left the other person um in mental conflict about their relationship and different things okay yeah we have the we have the hermit here okay so i feel like this virgo may be out the 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 hermit in the relationship this person kind of try to you know pretty much kind of go within do a lot of thinking maybe sometimes it's overthinking okay but this person you know uh, definitely goes within and thinks a lot 
um, can even be a little nonchalant at times, okay? Oh, we also have the tower here, okay? So, yeah, something, uh, there was some type of upheaval in their relationship, okay? Uh, somebody in the relationship definitely have some type of, you know, with this connection to the, to the devil here, okay? I feel like, hmm, I feel like this Virgo may be the feminine. Whoever the feminine is in the relationship, I just really feel like it could be the feminine. She's the one who's been in mental conflict about this relationship, what they were dealing with, what they were going through, okay? Even be, got to the point um, uh, of, of uh, you know, having anxiety and stress over what was, what was going on. And as they tried to express themselves with their partner, they became very defensive, okay? Because they have addictive patterns of behavior here, okay? Um with them being tied a chain to the devil okay even having some devilish type of ways maybe like partying like kicking it like hanging out um very flirtatious even maybe even cheating um stepping out in the relationship or um or what have you here okay and 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 the, the the other person in this relationship, you know, kind of went within, was doing a lot of thinking, okay, about what was what's being going on in the relationship, okay, and because this tower began to collapse, okay, it wasn't just about the other person's, um, habits and addictions and different things that was going on there was a lack of finances money and resources and different things yeah we got the three of cups at the bottom of the deck this talks about third party situations somebody was did step out in the marriage somebody did uh cheat okay had some type of third party situation going on um it could have been this aries here this virgo found out about this and kind of you know went into hermit mode okay was feeling very anxious uh, very stressed out about this very um very defensive even okay feeling like they needed to protect themselves okay and protect the family and things okay this aries even probably became very um defensive when being approached by this virgo about what was going on and and finding out that these things here were happening okay but i do feel like the connection is solid to the point i feel like this is a married couple okay um, at some point there were some issues with money being tight, finances, money and resources or whatever. Uh, this, 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 this Virgo may began, may have began to kind of snoop around, um, you know, try to figure out what was going on, what, you know, the finances were falling off, the relationship seemed to be kind of distant and, and things between, um, them and their partner and everything and um and that's when that tie tower happened in the relationship that was a major upheaval there was a shake up in their relationship okay um but something unexpected is coming in for this couple okay i feel like um, it says unexpected income here. There's something that they don't see coming that is, is going to help them out. I feel like it's going to even bring them closer together, okay? I feel like this is going to help them, obviously, financially with whatever they have been struggling with, uh, financial, uh, financial wise, okay? And I feel like they could work on, um, the other situations that's been going on in the relationship, okay? So let's, uh, let's see, how is this, um, let's see how this divine feminine is feeling in this situation. Spirit, please give me a clear message as to how this divine feminine is feeling, okay? We have here, what are the emotions that you are feeling right now, okay? So, I feel like the divine feminine in this relationship, they're, they're still deep in their feelings and in their emotions about what's going on within the relationship, okay? I feel like it has taken a major toll on them. Yeah, they were the one who was in this... Um, 
this mental conflict, having a lot of anxiety and stress over what was going on. Because this we have here, release your worry and your anxiety here, okay? So I do feel that, and I feel like that this the feminine is, is this Virgo here, okay? Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck here, it says that you are being guided with your heart. Um, add some logic to the situation, okay? Because I feel like that this divine feminine here, who is this Virgo, actually loved their partner very much, okay? And was really trying to hold on to that. But Spirit is telling you to use some logic in this situation here, okay? Um, of course, you don't have to tolerate anybody who, um, you know, is lying to you, is cheating on you, is neglecting you and the family, uh, your children and different things like that, okay? I definitely feel like that this is this Virgo that's the feminine that's that's still deep in their emotions and their feelings about what has been going on, um, the distance um, between um, her and um, their divine count their counterpart or whatever as well as trying to release this worry and this anxiety, okay, about everything that's going on, okay, because the Virgo is an earth sign here, okay, usually your earth signs are very grounded, stable, and secure, so, you know, that alone would make them worry, um, you know, if the finances are, isn't quite right, okay, if, if money is tight and, 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 and resources are few and far in between and short and, and things are happening where, you know, there's not enough um, to get the bills paid or maybe just enough for the bills, okay? And maybe nothing extra, feeling like, you know, even feeling like they're they're doing everything. It's really hard when you're in a relationship and it feels like that you're doing the most is on your own and by yourself, yet you have a partner and here they are in third party situations, uh, got addictive patterns of behavior like kicking, like hanging out, like getting high, like getting drunk, like flirting, like mixing and mingling with other people and here you are. Um, Virgo, very grounded, stable, and secure. You worried about your relationship. You care the most about your family, your, your children, and different things like that or whatever. So I can see that the, the feminine was the one who was really in this mental conflict here, okay? And um, I feel like once this Virgo began to express how they felt, speak about what was going on, what was happening, you know, this 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 uh, Aries here, this fire sign was the one who became defensive here with the nine of wands here, you understand? So... Like and and knew that they had the most going on and knew that there was some type of merit for this Virgo feeling the way that they were. Okay, um, money was was tight. Okay, distance in the relationship. Um, knew that something was going on. Okay, this Aries may have a history of stepping out on them, lying to them, or cheating on them. Okay, and it caused the tower in their relationship. Okay, but I do feel like that this relationship is solid on to the point because I feel like this is more than girlfriend and boyfriend. I I feel like they are married, okay? <laughs> we have here from the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is saying, did you feel you overreacted in that situation? So I feel like the, I, feel, I feel like this Aries is a little cocky and a little arrogant, you know, got a little tooled on them and not really respecting the feelings of this Virgo, their, their counterpart here, okay? Um, because her first... Um, reactions was um, what are the emotions that you are feeling right now and his reaction is like did you feel you overreacted in that situation like this person's feelings about what was going in the relationship was of no importance so like I yeah I don't even like that um at all okay but this aries is a fire sign okay so they're gonna be very fiery very dominant like you know attitude like snap back like and different things like that okay the next message message we have here from this divine masculine is why do you want to walk away and not work it out okay because i feel like this virgo is fed up i feel like this virgo is tired she's heard all this shit before she's went through all this crap before or whatever and i feel like you know time and time again this aries has probably done the same 
crap. Staying out all night, spending too much money on his habits, on his addictions, on his partying, on his kicking it, with him being tied to this devil here or whatever, cheating, stepping out on his wife and everything or whatever. And this Virgo, the wife, it just feels like she's ready to release worry and anxiety and kind of be through with things or whatever. But what they don't see as a couple coming in is some some type of unexpected income okay that is at least going to balance out their finances for them okay the message that we have here at the bottom of the deck from the divine masculine is you are highly compatible um completing the task but can someone help okay so i i some type of help is coming in for this couple okay and the help that they get very well may save their relationship okay um this person that's in this third part yeah look we got the seven of swords behind him. this person was cheating this Aries was cheating on this Virgo here. They were in a third party situation. They was lying. They were sneaking. They was creeping. Um, they was trying to get away with something. They were cheating. Yeah. They were cheating. Okay. They was being passionate with the Ace of Wands here with someone else. Okay. Yeah. And now this Virgo is in the uh, end uh, energy where she just want to move to calmer water she want to be through with this situation okay and she didn't got the motivation and the determination to do so okay because she's tired or whatever but she's she's trying to keep her strength here to deal with this uh with the with the strength card here with the seven of wands she you know um which talks about endurance she just have endured a lot within this relationship within this person and and yeah and with the what is this the that the this cup sign here she said you know extreme feelings overwhelming emotions about this situation or whatever this Virgo may be ready to um, pack up and move on okay and this is the reason why the message from the divine feminine like you know I mean excuse me the divine masculine came out like why do you want to walk away and not work it out but it's because I feel like this has happened before. And she stayed and she worked and you know she tried to work it out before or whatever but yeah yeah this this aries was cheating on this virgo though okay but it's a trip because this is a divine feminine and a divine masculine to, that's together and is <laughs> i believe they're they actually are soulmates because like i said this was supposed to be a divine feminine divine masculine soulmate uh couple reading here So let me get you all, let's get a, um, let's get a soulmate message for this couple. My energy is so positive when I'm around you. Okay. So I feel like the Virgo is like, <laughs> the Virgo is, uh, I feel like almost clingy with this person and it's because the Virgo actually really love this person that they're with this Aries however is I can't say this person don't love the person that they're with but they're still in the energy here with them being in this devil energy of having addictive patterns of behavior I feel like this person still likes to chill and hang out and go you know go party go kick it drink smoke it's flirtatious and then party kicking it drinking smoking flirtatious hanging out with friends that ain't no good for them gets them in a situation where they meet other women when they ain't around their wife and different things and you know a man gonna be a man you know what i'm saying if you a fine woman is around you and they flirting with you you know what i'm saying you you constantly being flirtatious to somebody else or whatever because it's you know that manly thing where you you still want to make sure you got it or whatever and 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 cheating thinking that they won't get caught mm -mm. And, and I feel like when they got together, I feel like this couple knew each other from a past, either when they were younger, in their childhood, or when they were teenagers or something, and, and, and they both lived their own lives, and then when they were like a little older and grown, 
I feel like they came back together with one another okay as a blended family because the male had children the female had children and it was like this rekindled flame because they was crushing on each other when they were younger but they never really hooked up like that because we have the overall message here is we healed we forgave we released the past then we met this is how they got back together and then I believe they got back together, they hooked back up, they decided they was going to be together, they got married and everything or whatever, but this Aries did not change their ways. The Virgo was in it for the long haul. Like, I love you, I want you, I want you th this to work, we could be a great blended family together, but this Aries, no matter how old he is, he's still got that young energy in him where he want to party, he want to kick it, he want to have a good time, he's flirtatious. He a cheat. Once a cheat, always a cheat, honey. And it's, uh, well, you know, people can change. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Once a cheat, always a cheat. That's a lie. Because people can change. Change is very much possible. I feel like when you are young, you do young things, okay? But I, I, me personally, I feel like it's a time and a place for everything. When you get to a certain age, I feel like, I really feel like once you are over the age of 30 years old, you know what I'm saying? If you're not married and you're not obligated to anybody um, uh, under holy matrimony or marriage or something like that, technically you are not obligated to someone, okay? So you can get in situations and it may work out, it may not work out, you can mix, you can mingle, you know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes you're not happy, you're not pleased in a situation and things and people step out, they cheat, they do different things, but you do a lot of things when you're young. You know, when you, you, you get out here on your own, you're having fun, you're growing. But at a certain point in time, you grow up. And I feel like, me personally, I feel like once you are over the 30 years old, you need to make a conscious decision to change your damn life, settle down, and do something better with your life, okay? Because now it's time for you to be making life decisions. Who you want to spend the rest of your life with, okay? You done sucked, you done fucked, you done parted, you done kicked it, you done got high, you done got drunk, you done went to the clubs, you done did everything that you wanted to do. I feel like by 30 years old, you should be ready to settle down. You understand what I'm saying? And if you're not ready to settle down, stay single so you can do what the hell you want to do. How you want to do it. What is the point in getting a serious committed relationship with somebody or getting married and you still want to kick it and chill like, like you a teenager? Or like you in your early 20s. Like you ain't got a care in the world. And the only person that you got to take care of. You know how it is when you young. You don't have no kids yet. You grow. You know as you grown, honey. You on your own. You you ain't got no kids. You you single. You free to mingle. You can do how you want to do all how you like to do it. You understand what I'm saying? But And, and that's all fine. But I feel like once you over the age of 30 years old, you should make a conscientious decision that you want to live better, you want to do better, not only for, for the person that you decide to get in a relationship with, but for the betterment of yourself. Who in the hell want to be 35, 40, 45, 50, 60 years old still sneaking and creeping and freaking and, 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 and dipping and tipping and cheating and shit? Now, I ain't saying nothing wrong with being freaky, okay? But you can have somebody that you in love with and, and you happy with and be freaky with them. Be a nymph if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Do the damn thing if you want to. I'm just saying, I feel like once you get to a certain age, the BS should be cut out, okay? Because now, especially once you have children, now your kids is growing up. You can't still be a hoe. Once your kids, but you started home when you was a teenager. Now your kids is teenagers and you still trying to hold. You still trying to party and kick. You trying to keep up with the young folk. When you should be settled down. When you should be loving your wife. Loving your children. Loving your family. Being an example for your grandchildren, for your children, for your grandchildren or whatever. And that don't mean just because you get older, you can't have fun. Go out with your loved one. Have fun. Go on vacations. Go on trips. Go on getaways. Have romantic, passionate, all kinds of things, honey. Slap it, flip it, rub it down. You can be freaky if you want to. All how you want to. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, but once you have, once you get older and you have made a conscientious decision, don't make no decision that to, to be with somebody in a serious, committed relationship, or especially to be married to somebody me personally i feel like marriage is different when you're not married to somebody anything can happen shit can happen you understand what i'm saying 
And but at the end of the day, no matter who you say is your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your side piece, your your friends with benefits, your sugar mama, your sugar daddy, honey, whatever situation you got going on. You understand me? When if you are not married technically by law, you are not even obligated to anybody, okay? Which means this thing can work out or it cannot. I feel totally different about marriage. If you are married, you are obligated to who you are married to. It is their sole responsibility to, 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 to make you happy and please you to the fullest just as much as it is your responsibility to make them happy and please them to the fullest. Because if you ain't going to do it, somebody else the hell is. And I feel like it, in marriage, even if the marriage is not working, I would not cheat in a marriage. I feel like marriage is different. Now, when you just dating, when you just hooked up with somebody, if you're not fulfilled or happy in that relationship, if you're not pleased sexually, if you if there's no passion, no love, no romance, no, you know, no, no dating, no, this person don't make you feel good, you know, things can happen. You can end up cheating. And I feel like you got that right, because technically you're not obligated to see anybody, but I feel totally different about marriage. Don't marry no damn body and you still want to be a hoe. Why? Because you have free will. Because you are grown. You could have easily stayed single and did whatever the hell you want to do and wouldn't have been no problem for nobody. But no, you get in a serious committed relationship, you marry a person, and you still want to party and kick it and chill and 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 and, and cheat and all other kind of stuff. You could have just said you didn't want nothing serious. And the crazy thing about that is what most people don't understand is even if you had been a man and said, hey, I don't want anything serious right now. I'm not ready to settle down right now. If this person loved you, as much as it seems like this person loved you, guess what? Even if you wasn't ready to settle down and y'all didn't get married, this person would have still fucked you. This person would have still been cool with you. Why? Because they would have appreciated you for being honest with them. But what you cannot do is tell this person you love them. Tell this person that you want to have a family with them. This person brings you around. Do you know how hard it is as a single mother to introduce somebody new in your life to your children? And you be with somebody new, especially if you marry them and you're going through, you, you, you have to go through the most of your kids got to see you unhappy and sad and all kinds of shit. They don't set no good example for your damn kids. But you do all that and come to find out you still want to hold. You still want to party. You still want to kick it. And I'm not saying just because you're in a serious committed relationship or if you are married, that means you can't, you can't have no friends and you can't do anything outside of with your partner, like going to hang out with your buddies or, you know, going to have a good time. But when you have made the conscientious decision yourself with your own free will that you want to be married, I feel like there's certain stipulations that goes along with marriage. Marriage. Me personally, I feel different about marriage. Okay, as a single person, even if I decided to be uh, friends with someone, friends with benefits with someone, uh, uh, even be girlfriend, boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever type of situation you got. You are not obligated to anybody, which means anything can technically happen. You don't own another person. And this goes for even for the other person. Technically, they got the right to do what the hell they want to do with their body and be who the hell they want to be with. Okay. Because nine times out of ten, most of the time when people cheat, is for a reason. They either not fulfilled sexually at home, or either they have a sexual addiction, or either they get not getting any passion, romance, or the love, or the affection, or the attention that they need at home. Most people cheat for a reason. It's only a smaller percentage of people who cheat because they have a sexual addiction. And they and, and the, the 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 crazy thing about people who have a sexual addiction, the person that they in a serious committed relationship with, they actually love that person. They actually have no intentions on leaving that person, being in another serious committed relationship with anyone. But they cheat because they they have a they one they might have a sexual addiction, and also people cheat because. If, if 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 something sexually pleases your partner, but you not with that, like say if your partner liked oral sex, but you not into oral sex, they might cheat. They have no intentions on being with somebody else in a serious committed relationship or wanting to marry somebody else or wanting to leave the marriage, but they might cheat with somebody that is into, say, oral sex or say that you not into anal sex, but your partner likes anal sex. 
they don't have any intentions on really being with anybody else but they might step out on a relationship to 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 have sex with somebody to fulfill this sexual desire with somebody that is into anal sex it don't make it right i'm just telling you how it happens But when you have free will and you have free choice and you have made the conscience, you got you you can make the conscious decision whether you want to be single or whether you want to be in a serious committed relationship or whether you want to be married. You cannot marry somebody, but then you still want to be a hoe. When you could have easily, with your own free will, been single and been the biggest hoe that you want to and ain't got to explain yourself to nobody, ain't got to worry about nothing. And be free to do what you want to do. Why? Because you got the right to be whoever it is that you want to be. But to be married to someone and be steady keeping up doing the same shit over and over and over again. And then trying to disregard their feelings like they have no merit for feeling the way that they feel. is completely selfish. In my opinion. I just feel differently about marriage. And I feel like this couple is married. I feel different about marriage. If I was married, I would not cheat. Even if I was unhappy within the relationship, okay? I would I would, I would try to work on it. I'm going to talk to you about it. I'm going to bring the issue that I'm having with the relationship about it and, and give you the opportunity. Hey, let's fix it. Let's work on it. What can we do with, you know, get counseling or whatever. If that don't work, if all else fails, then get your ass a divorce and then or, or separate or whatever and come to a mutual agreement in the separation. And then be with somebody else. That's how I feel like you should do with a marriage. I just feel different about marriage. But honey, if I'm not married to you, child, I'm not obligated to you. What are you talking about? Especially if you ain't doing me right and you ain't treating me right and you ain't loving me right and you ain't pleasing me right. What do you mean? But this couple here is married. Yeah, this couple here is married. And it seems like this Aries is set in their ways, okay? And it's like, if you come to them with how you feeling about something or question them about what's going on, they want to become defensive, okay? But something something unexpected is going to happen financial-wise within this couple's relationship, okay? Um, that is going to change some things for them and it may bring them together or it may bring them back together. Okay, to be on the level, but this Virgo might be through and ready to go. Okay, because behind courtship here we have journey. Somebody is ready to leave. We also have thief behind that. Somebody in this relationship is a thief. Okay, and may have gotten into some trouble in some type of way. You know, which can also be coupled up here with the devil because the that that talks about a lot of different things. This could talk about somebody that's got a gambling addiction, somebody that that you know uh, commits petty crimes or even major crimes, somebody that's got sex addictions, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, somebody that um, compulsively cheats. Sometimes you know with this devil card coming out, that somebody could literally be into you know anything that maybe one would frown upon. In some type of way that will be negative in, a, say, a relationship or something. Okay, guys? But the crazy thing about this is, I feel like this is not only a married couple, but this is a divine masculine. This is a divine feminine. And I think that, I feel like that they possibly are soulmates. And this is happening. This is going on. So, baby, look. Let me get, let me get, um, one more clarifier, a conclusion clarifier on this spirit. Spirit, what is this, what do this Virgo want to do in this relationship, in this situation? Give me one clear message as to what this Virgo wants to do, how this Virgo wants to move forward in this situation, in this relationship. Yeah, see, there's competition and there was things that was hidden. And there was lying and there was cheating. You got the five of wands with the moon. And the seven of swords. And lovers. This person was cheating. This person was cheating. Yeah. And, 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 and this Virgo, we got the ten of cups behind that. Worried about the family. The nine of wands behind that. Feeling defensive. Seven of wands behind that. Enduring a lot of shit. Yeah. 
But there was some type of conflict also with money. This bastard could have been paying for sex. Spending money on his hoes. And that's what probably caught the, the, the Burgos' attention. Like, hold up, wait a minute. Where's, where's the money going? Yeah. Five Swords, the Hermit here, Justice. Somebody got in trouble with the law about some money, about something. Because of a decision that was that this emperor was behind that. Spirit, what does this Virgo want to do? How does Virgo want to move forward in this situation? Is this Virgo going to stay in this situation? Going to move from this situation? What, what's going to happen? What does Virgo want to do? devil is weighing strongly on them on this relationship and their decisions this 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 virgo might have got caught up in some devilish shit with this aries yeah what oh my god This Aries the one out here and messed with somebody and got sick. In recovery. Eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody that got locked up. Somebody that got locked up or went to jail about something. Spirit, give me clear messages about this on this Aries. Yeah, some type of generosity going to come in for them in some type of way. One of, whoa, whoa. Jesus, see, this Aries got a lot of things that's hidden, a lot of things that's secret with the moon here. Yeah, see, this, 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 this Virgo want to move on, want to move to calmer waters, the six of, six of, six of swords there. We got the death. Wait a minute. The death card. The six of cups. Oh. Did this person. Was, was this person a part of something? End up dying? Oh my God. It's some very sinister things, honey. Look, we got the five of wands at the bottom of the deck again. Oh, we. What? What? Is this person messing with men and women? Behind the five of wands is the king of wands. Okay. The page of wands. The knight of cups. This king of wands could be this uh this Aries, this fire sign here. He was messing with a couple of at least a couple other people, a few other people. Younger people. Oh wait. This is what caused this conflict with the with, within the relationship with these lovers. This is the reason why this oh child. This is too much. This is too much. This is too much. Somebody was really wrapped up into some 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 real sinister things here with this devil. Somebody that sold his soul and really into some negative things here. What? This person messing with a young water sign, messing with a fire sign. What? Oh yeah. 
y'all, this is getting deep, honey. I'm going to wrap this up, baby, y'all. We got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. There was a lot of secrets here with the three of cups here. A lot of relationships, up to three different relationships was going on that this person had going on. And he like him young, baby. We got the ten of swords here. And he could be a switch hitter because honestly, I seen some, 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 some boys and some gals. All young gals won. Yeah, but there was a lot of a lot of things that was hidden that's being hidden in this relationship here. A lot of secrets. Third a whole bunch of third party situations. He was messing with up to three different people. This was ultimate betrayal here. Okay? Money we got got tight here with the four four of of, of coins here. Person feeling very defensive. Yeah, over the five, all oh, the same stuff keep coming. Y'all seen me shuffle. Y'all seen me shuffle. Seven of wands, ten of coins, five of swords, lovers, moon, eight of swords. Baby. That was a lot. This, 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 this person here got a lot of goings on. Somebody even got in trouble with the law about these sneaky, freaky, creepy, low-down, dirty doings that they was a part of. All this lying, cheating, uh, uh, stealing, manipulating. Money issues. Illicit sexual issues. Baby, that was a lot hidden. Some, somebody got in trouble with the law, though. Ooh we and whoever Ooh somebody got sick somebody got sick he might not caught a disease he caught a disease this king of wands here with this four swords sitting here spirit say that's the truth baby he caught a disease and he might have even gave it to this Virgo too Ooh baby I'm supposed to wrap this up this is getting too deep Ooh we Mm -mm. Something unexpected pertaining to income is gonna come in to help this help help at least one of these persons in this relationship. I feel like maybe the Virgo is gonna help them out because um, this person is struggling for money, struggling with their kids. I feel like something some some major shit went on in this relationship here. guys y'all baby that was your um your divine feminine divine masculine soulmate reading honey Ooh, we this too much here i thank you all for listening and for watching if you would be so kind to like share and subscribe i greatly greatly appreciate it um, if you would like to contact me, you can do so at tiffanyzigla60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com or at 501-478-8035. As always, guys, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. There is wickedness in high places and evil that is lurking around each and every corner, honey, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when somebody may betray you or backstab you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Um, and so the next time, y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.